Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Smith, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We've been following a major investigation in Detroit, the search for a serial killer and rapist. Police Chief James Craig says investigators believe that the suspect is targeting sex workers on the city's east side. This is all linked to a string of women who've been found dead since March, including one from this morning. Stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ.com for the latest on this investigation. The Oakland County Health Division is announcing the end of the largest local measles outbreak since 1991. 40 of the 44 confirmed measles cases in Michigan were from Oakland County. Those infected ranged in age from eight months to 63 years in age. The outbreak began back in March when a man from New York visited the area. The CDC says that there have been a total of 981 cases in 26 states so far this year. But again, the Oakland County Health Division is saying that the outbreak here has officially come to an end. One lucky Mega Millions player in Clinton Township hit a million bucks. The ticket was sold at the Hayes and Go gas station. Four other people across the nation also won a million dollars each. The winning numbers, 25, 37, 46, 48, 68 with a Mega Ball at 25. Nobody hit all of those, so the jackpot rolls over. It'll be up to $530 million. And we will have the winning numbers for you Friday night at 7 on 7 Action News at 11. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Hey Alicia, thank you. This afternoon, isolated thunderstorms possible all the way through sunset. So they'll be isolated, but keep an eye on uh, potentially some thunderstorms the rest of today. Otherwise, temperatures topping out near 80. Tonight, decreasing clouds overnight, 58 degrees for the low. And tomorrow, a comfortable day, lower humidity, highs in the upper 70s, a dry day. It's going to be dry Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with high temperatures around 80 degrees. Alicia? All right, thank you, Kevin. Detroit rock legend Bob Seger celebrating a special honor before his final tour heads to Detroit. This morning, DTE Energy Music Theater renamed the amphitheater's address in his honor. It changed from 774 Sashabal Road to 33 Bob Seger Drive. How about that? Seger has performed at DTE Energy Music Theater for the past 47 years. 33 of those have been sellouts. Seeger thanked his fans for the support after that moment. Congratulations to him. Those are our headlines for 7 Action News. You can always get the latest on our WXYZ mobile app for free anytime. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great day.